Hey, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you could use Appifier to extract structured data from a website like Hacker News. So the first thing we'll do is create a new crawler. So I'll just go to Crawlers, Add New, and I'll call this one Hacker News. And I'm going to set the start URL to news.ycombinator.com. Copy and paste that in there. And let's just go to the run console and see what happens. So as you can see, Appify has gone to Hacker News, come back with a screenshot and a set of results. At the moment, there's just this blank value here, and that's because uh, by default, the page function is returning uh, my value, and it's just this to-do.txt, which doesn't actually exist on this page. Um, so the page function is run on every page that Appify visits, and in the page function, you have access to this object, context. Context has some really helpful uh, methods that you can use uh, to help extracting data. Uh, one of those is jQuery. So as you can see here, I'm setting dollar uh, to equal context.jQuery. And we'll use jQuery uh, to make extracting the data a lot easier later on. So I'm just going to change this up um, to suit the needs of uh, what we're trying to do with Hacker News. And the way I'm going to do that is to change this to a result to equal a blank array. And then I'm going to return results. And for each result that we find, we're going to push a new object into this array. Uh, and each of those objects is going to represent one item. Now let's have a look back at Hacker News. If I go to inspect element, we can see for each item we have here, there is, uh, it looks like there are three table rows. So for this first one, we've got this table row with a class of a thing, and then a, another table row, and then another table row, which is just a spacer. Uh, and then after that, we have a thing again, and that's the second result. So let's use jQuery to loop over this class, a thing, and use that as our anchor point to extract the information about each item on this page. So the way that we would do that is to first select a thing, and then we can use dot each. And for each item, we're going to push an object into this results array. So we'll do results dot push. So let's look at the first thing we want to click get. So the first piece of information we want to get from this page is the rank. One, two, three. You can see down the side here, we've got a numbered rank. And if I look in the inspector, uh, I can see that there's this rank class on a span that wraps the number. So the way we do that is uh, we're going to add an item to our object called rank. And that's going to be jQuery's this uh, dot find dot rank dot text. And because we want just the number from the rank, I'm going to wrap this whole thing in parsint and that will pass just the integer. So let's run this and see what happens. So as you can see, we have a row in our uh, results table here for each item, and we've got the rank column has been collected all the way up to 30. So next, let's get the title. So I'll add a new key to our object here, and let's see how we can select title. If I inspect this element, I can see that there is this uh, class of title on the TD. Um, however, I can also see that that title is used elsewhere, uh, wrapping this rank item. So uh, I think it's going to be best to select this class here, which is story link. So let's try that. Do this dot find story link dot text. And I'm going to call trim on uh, the text. And this is just because if my title comes back like this, then uh, running trim is just going to get rid of the, the white space here and here. So it's going to actually look more like this. So it's just going to trim away any, any unwanted white space. Uh, so let's run that and see what happens. 
So now we're getting the rank and the title, and that seems to be coming through great. Next up, let's get the link. And the link is basically going to be exactly the same as the title. And instead of getting the text, we're going to get the attribute href. So you can see that link has this attribute href, and that is going to be the link to the story. So I'll just run this and make sure that works. Great, we're getting a link back to. Next up, let's get the score. So each item on Hacker News has a certain number of points. If I just look at this, I can see that it's actually in in the, the next table row to the one that we've selected. So we selected a thing, and then there's this other table row that directly follows it. Uh, and that table row doesn't have a class. Uh, and inside that, there's a span with the class of score, and that's got the number of points. So the way I'm going to select that is to take this. Uh, and let's do dot next tr. And then we'll find points. I think it was dot text. And because we want just the number from this, I'm going to wrap that in parsint too. So we're going to look for, oh, it wasn't points, it was score. So we're going to look for the span with the class of score, and we're going to pass just the number from the text. So let's see if that works. And here we go, we can see the score is now coming through. So the next thing we want to get is the author. We can see uh, right after the score we've got, it says by and then the author's name. And there's this class uh, HN user on a, on a link that we can use to select to get the author. So we'll do a similar select as the one above, this.nexttr.find.hnuser.text. Dot trim. Let's make sure that works. Here we go, the author's coming through too. Next up, let's get the uh, age of this post. So here it says seven hours ago, two hours ago, uh, and the age, it looks like we can just select dot age and get the text from that. Check that one more time. And the age is coming through as well. Finally, let's get the number of comments on this post. So we can see here there is a link to, uh, to the comments. And I can see this has 15 comments, 196 comments. And we just want to get the number here. So we can use parsint to get that number. Um, an interesting thing about the comments, though, is when there are no comments, uh, see if I can find an example here. Nope, everything has comments. Um, when there are no comments, it doesn't say zero comments, it just has a link that says discuss. Um, so the interesting thing is that parseint will actually fail uh, on that and um, return an error, not a number. So I'll show you how we can get around that in a minute. Uh, first, let's try to select this comments link. So it looks like the comments link is actually the only element that we're trying to get that doesn't have a class that we can use to hone in on it. So um, I'll show you one method that we can use to get this. Uh, we'll select this dot next tr and we'll find uh, an a and we can use jQuery has uh, a function eq which means we can pass it the offset of that link. So there are a certain number of links inside this table row, and we're going to find the link that is at this position. And this one is offset by three. I'm going to get the text, and we're going to wrap this in parsint because we only want the number. Now, what happens if instead of saying zero comments, it actually uh, just says discuss? Well, we can easily just uh, say or zero. And if parsint uh, comes up with not a number, 
then instead of being an error, it's just going to be zero. Uh, and I'll show you um, that it's offset by three. If I look inside the table, uh, the table row here, we have the first link is here, and then sorry, the first link is um, the author. The second link is the number, uh, the age, or the number of hours ago. The third link is hide, and the fourth link is uh, the comments, so it's going to be offset by three. So let's run that and see how that works. Great, so now we've got the number of comments uh, as well. We managed to get the first 30 results uh, from the homepage of Hacker News. What happens if we want to get more? Let me show you how we'd do that. On Hacker News, it shows 30 results on the first page, and if I wanted to see more, I could click this link. And that takes me to a new page. Uh, that is que slash news question mark p equals two. So I'm going to copy this link and add this to my crawler as a pseudo URL. And what I'm going to do is actually change, replace this two with a regular expression that will match any digit. Wh whether that's like page two or page 22, it's going to match uh, that URL. And then I'm going to go to advanced settings and here we have this setting for clickable elements. And we don't want the crawler to click on any link on Hacker News. Instead, we only want it to click on specific element, which is this more link. So let me inspect that, and we'll see if it has a class. As you can see, the more link has a class, more link, that we can use to select it. So I'm just going to put here dot more link. And finally, to stop the crawler from going crazy and uh, getting all of the items from Hacker News that ever were ever invented, I'm going to limit this uh, by limiting the crawling depth. So uh, the crawling depth is basically every time that uh, the Appify scraper clicks a link, it's considered to be going one depth deeper if it clicks a link from the start URL. So I'm just going to set this to four, which means it will scrape five pages in total, including the home page. And we'll run this and see what happens. And if I look at the results, I can see all the way up to results. Like There's about 150 of them here. Let me show you uh, some other formats you can get. So I can either open the full table in a new window, uh, in which case I can view all of the results like this. Um, but I can also download a CSV, JSON, or XML file. Uh, and these results can also be accessed through the API.